You have all just seen episode 6, in which Trace and the other survivors encounter a group of traitors. These two groups come together and tell stories and share music around a campfire. In order to get that feeling of people sharing stories and returning to that oral tradition, as West says, with a couple of exceptions, I had the actors improv that scene. And I think that that created that very realistic feel that I was going for. An awkward situation that at the same time is very social and very touching. I had to cut down the scene significantly. So what I want to present to you here is an extended version of that campfire scene. Until the end. Well, since, I've, since I've seen that one. Hey guys, I've been thinking. What is fire? There he goes again. Um. Like, no, 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 stop. Like, like, that's pretty cool. That looks pretty cool, right? But like, just fire. what if you could sell fire? We'd make a lot of money. We, I would make a lot of money. I don't we, know about we you. Would make okay, so I don't get it. He's a doctor, but he doesn't see patients. No, he's not. Yeah. He's not a doctor like we think of a yeah. doctor. Uh, like, the doctor's a term. Yeah, you, it's you, you learn about it. it it's doctor, just, so, like what's his name? His name he, is the doctor. He's a doctor. Okay, okay, but right, like this, this title. You can't be like doc. Is he like Doctor Doctor? Well, is that his name, Doctor Doctor? Like doctor no, has, no, like, has I mean, he has a name, name, but we just don't know it we, it's because in, it's really important that we don't know it. It, it is. Why? It's really important. It's probably in Gallifrey, and we wouldn't understand it anyway. Gallifrey. He's, Gall he, he's, Gallifrey is the planet that he's from. He's a Time Lord. But he killed everyone. Yeah, he he killed Absolutely. all. He killed okay, all so he's the a bad guy. Lords. There was a great no, he's big not a bad war. guy. Like this guy. He's, he's, he's the morally ambiguous. But he's kind of actually five year old too. Oh well, yeah. Uh, Actually, he's, he's five years old. But he changed it, but not all of him are five years old because there's different incarnations of him. Right, so the, there's... So, like, there's, like, different theories. I, I don't want Yeah, the, so far there have been 12 different doctors, and so, the, obviously the actual reason is because they want to keep casting new actors, but what, the, what it is in the story is that every time a Time Lord dies, what they do instead of just dying, which would be boring, they regenerate into... A new appearance and, and a new personality. Yeah. And sometimes even like the inside of, I, it's of time, relative dimensions, and space, the TARDIS changes with them too. Yeah, that too. Really cool. That. But it changes. Inside. Is it a it's house? A, it's yeah. a spaceship. It's yeah, a, but it looks like a phone box. But it doesn't always look like a phone box. Just over the series, it looks like a phone box. Yeah. Why does uh, it look like a phone box? Well, it has inside of it. It has what's called uh, a chameleon circuit. And, but what happened with the Doctor's chameleon circuit is that his, it froze when he was in the, what, the 50s or whenever they had those. The, it, it's, a blue, it's not a regular phone box, it's a blue phone box. And so what it was supposed to be is that you go inside and then you can call the police if you see a crime. But uh, his chameleon circuit froze, so it's stuck as one of those phone boxes. But it's bigger on the inside than his outside, but not actually. Yes. It's just set up so it can be. Exactly. What do you mean? So like you go in and there's a whole council room, but it's just it's a police phone box. Yeah, it, it, uh, on the outside it just looks like you know a phone booth. It's you know about that wide, about that long. But you go inside, and it's like rooms and rooms and rooms. But so that's why like when you have stories with like intersection timelines, but all the people from like a whole bunch of different series are there, then they can all fit in it at once. And then I was like, Adrian, get back in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hey, uh, any of you play guitar? I mean, I, I do. We, you do. I do. Yes. I mean, yes, please. We've got one. I'm. I gave it a try, but it was terrible. I'll, oh, I'll go get I, it. I'd yes, love to. <clears throat> we found it down on an old park road somewhere, and it might be in tune. I don't know. <laughs> uh, here. Uh, Give it a try. <laughs> Not terrible. <laughs> Here. <laughs> ah, a little, a little out of practice, but <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is, this isn't bad at all. I. Yeah, you, you've kept it in good shape if you, if I you found done it like this. I haven't anything with it, I mean. 
Oh, it's been man. sitting in our truck for... Play something else. Oh, um, <laughs> anything actually. Uh, I don't know. Play Freebird, dude. <laughs> I don't know how to play Freebird. What kind of guitarist are you? I, I'm sorry, Harry, that I can't learn songs on a whim just for you. You, you guys have some creepy sexual tension going on. What do you do with the dead chemist? What? Bury him. Crunch! <laughs> uh, I got another one, got another one. Uh, All right. What do you call iron blowing in the wind? What? The breeze. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's, okay, let's. That's, that's. So there are two atoms walking down the street. And one of them says, oh no, I think I lost an electron. And the other one says, well, are, are you sure? <coughs> And the first one says, yes, I'm, pos I'm positive. Ah, <laughs> <laughs>